What would you do if tomorrow was the end of the world? Get pizza, beer, soda, candy and let the TV go non-stop until the end, looking at whatever the kids wants to watch, and pull down the curtains. Doom time is family time. If I was single and childless, I'd go to the nearest ancient grave site there are hundreds of old bronze, iron and viking age graves around here, position 13 toasters in a circle around me, connect them all in a chain with extension cords, lay flat in the middle, and put a bust of Danny DeVito on my chest, and await the end. Future alien archaeologists would be so confused. Sit and talk about fun memories with my wife and son and cat, play my guitar while my son sang he's got an amazing voice, eat some good food, hug them a lot. Just spend it quietly with those people, creatures, and things I love the most. Right now I'm sitting in a Buki's parking lot, as I'm driving home to spend the holidays with my family after being on an extended business trip. That's what I was planning on doing anyway, so I guess I wouldn't do anything different than usual. Go beat the living hell out of my mortal enemy, drive like a maniac, act like a maniac cursing all the stupid people around me out and telling them how I really feel about go get a lot of comfort food, take it back to my family and spend the remaining time with them gorging ourselves and recounting stories, laughing, loving and reliving our lives together one last time. Eat my favorite food because I've been putting that off for so long for the fear of gaining calories and putting in weight. Write everyone close to me a precious little note they have after I'm gone. At last, dance in the rain for one last time. Then take a long cozy shower, get rid of anxious thoughts, watch my favorite movie while sipping a cool beverage tea. Would it be known globally the end was near? Honestly, it might seem pretty low-key but I'd hang out with family and friends who were near. I have a couple of good bottles of wine and other drinks I've been saving for a special occasion. Same with the cigars. I will discourage anyone from playing rims it's the end of the world as we know it, but I do that anyway. I'd do everything in my power to make sure my children wouldn't find out it was happening. I would not want that burden of fear on them. I would take them to their favorite parkour event and play all day long. I'd sit and relish in their joy with a wife by my side. Fuck it I'm going to do this tomorrow. Why am I waiting for a catastrophe? I have bottles of scotch that I have been saving for when family comes to town. I think I'll drink those with my wife until the fire wave comes and give her one last kiss and a handful of ass. I don't want to die sober. I'm happy with my life I've led, and I want to be drunk enough to not be paralyzed with fear and anxiety. Just continue the day as if it were normal but spend all my money on games on Steam. Tell my parents and relatives I love them and by the end of the day stuff all my personal items in a place at home that may somehow survive go to the safest part of my home and sleep there with my dog. I'm going to spend it with my kids. We're going to have a kick-ass day. Going to go all out and eat awesome food and then we're going to do the same tomorrow, right until the end. And I'll do everything in my power to ensure they don't know what's going on. I don't want them scared. Does everyone know the world is ending? If so, I'd be very careful to avoid strangers. There would be no consequence to R.E. or a murder. I'd be with my family, giving out Christmas presents, cooking our favorite foods, drinking all the alcohol. Watching our favorite films. Tell my children that they're gonna die, wheel, if I had any. Anyways, the government would have probably have did some initiative for a bunker or SMTH and I would tell literally everyone in no. Other than my dad, he left when I was five. I'll explain on 30 of votes what happened. Treat everyone I know to a really great, expensive meal and put it on my credit card. Get trashed and celebrate our lives. Also, give my dog a steak and my cat some of their favorites. Mittens gets turkey, Rascal gets bacon, and Suki gets tuna. Not much else to do. Hold my boyfriend one last time. Visit my mom. Mourn that I haven't really done anything productive with my life. Keep the cows fed and happy. I'd buy them all blankets, why not? Call everyone I couldn't visit and tell them how thankful I am that they exist. Cry. A lot. Back my truck up through the front of a liquor store and grabbing everything so I can get loaded. Just hope I'm one of the first to have this piece of knowledge, because once everyone knows there will be a lot of competition to be looting a liquor store. If no one knows except me, I take out my small savings and splurge on my loved ones. Buy them whatever they like, eat good food together, bond, sing karaoke, buy fireworks, watch fireworks display, and just talk, laugh. I'll tell them I love them. I've always meant to make chicken fried steak as well as croissants. They don't go together well probably try and space them out and die with a belly full of chicken fried steak. Oh, and trade my joints for good old-fashioned cigarettes for the end. Pray, repent, pray, repent, 
play with all four of my cats, my two dogs, and sit with my family. Then I'd read Revelation so I know what to expect and pray and repent one more time as I fall asleep with my cat on my chest and my dog in my arms. Told my parents that I like both gender they always think I'm straight. Drink my last bottle of Coca-Cola. Eating my last instant noodles with egg. Listening to music all day long and go to my favorite park at my favorite hour 5 p.m. 6 8 30 p.m. I'd call off work, for one. Then I'd cuddle with my wife and our pets and hope the end is swift and painless. Maybe read something to calm us, and then get real annoyed that the world ended before my Bengals won a fucking Super Bowl. Get off of Reddit. Leave work. Try to avoid the craziness that would be going on. And honestly just try to spend time with my family. It would be hard though BC no way I'd get my wife to calm down after I break the news to her. Have a good breakfast, take a scenic drive in my 5.0 Mustang, hug my dogs, and listen to songs about when the world ends. You choose until the end of the world. DMB's when the world ends, rims it's the end of the world, etc. The guaranteed mass extinction event with absolutely no chance of survival is the only way I would peacefully accept my fate. If there is the slimmest chance of survival, I would be fighting for my life and my kids' lives. I would spend it with my family. One of my kids' lives close but the other we would have to video call. I'm kinda old so it's not so sad for me but my kids are youngish, 30s, my dog is 3 so I would be sad for them. I would tell husband every pure joyment and happiness he has given me, read and sing to my unborn child for hours, give the dogs unlimited treats, and end it with a one last hug as we hold each other for goodbye. If I knew I would try to do as much good in the last 24 hours I could, I wanna say I'd do pleasure but I can't do that that'd be rotten and my heart wouldn't let me so Batman for the last 24 hours and initiate it. I'd go play basketball one last time in a park, probably would try casino and alcohol. Maybe I'd try weed or some, and rewatch my favorite movie while spending the rest of my money on my preferred food, lol. Not much would change apart from calling distant loved ones. Then I'd spend the day spending time with my friends, confessing to my crush towards the end of the day just in case and play computer games. Find my wife who I was married to for 30 years and we have been divorced for loving, and I would tell her that I always always loved her. She may not have loved me but it does not change how I feel. I go grab my adult son from the city, about an hour and a half away, then come back and spend the day surfing with him and having a fire on the beach with all the folks who care to come. Go get my wife right now BC as our the bear has taught us every second counts and enjoy every single one of our final moments, together and blissfully unaware anymore that time is running, up. Telling all the people I hate, I hate them. Telling the people I love, I love them. Then get all the popular drugs. Choosing first row and enjoy the end as high and drunk as possible. If everyone knew it would be chaos. But if it was some weird thing that I only knew I would leave work, call family and then get my GF and go have the nicest last meal we could. Have a nap, after telling the important people in my life that I love them. I don't deal with stress well, and sleeping through the end will probably be my escape mechanism. Leave work, pull my kids out of school, get my wife from work, and drive up to Pine Top. Of the world is ending. I'm spending my time with my family in our favorite place. Probably go skydiving, rocky mountain climbing, go 2.7 seconds on a bull named Fu Manchu, also probably love deeper, speak sweeter, and give forgiveness I've been denying. Get a pack of cigarettes, food and go find a quiet place on a hill. Listen to music, read, write till the world ends. Hopefully it would be spectacularly glorious. I'd pray my behind off. I pray 5 times a day and read the Quran but still. I'd pray a lot and I would apologize for my wrongdoings and I would get married. Cuddle my kitties because my boyfriend would want to go see his kids and I wouldn't want my last day to be me pretending to be happy that I'm around their mom. My anxiety would be on 10 all day. I wouldn't be able to think, sleep, socialize, eat, nothing. It would be an absolute waste of a day. My last day at that. I would wake up and cook pancakes, walk to the park with my family, call my parents. Pick out my kids' favorite things to do. Kiss my wife a couple times. Probably tell my family and friends I love them. Figure out which game I want to play during in the apocalypse. And hope I get Isekai I guess. Hey. Create my final painting. Drink copious amounts of wine. Have as much sex as possible. Send everyone that I care about a loving message. It's good to remember that the end of the world happens every day to someone. That it could be you. Embrace that thought and keep going till it is. Just eat good biryani. Spend time with fam. Tell them I love them cause I never said. Call my crush and just say it. Have sex, 
kiss and just die happily. I put this on. Uncork all my best scotch and the bad ones too and just go outside. After I tell everybody my family I love them I would probably just sit and stare at the clock, waiting. I mean what's the point of doing anything? I'd give hugs to all the children I work with, then I'd go to my BF and spend the rest of it with him. I wanna go out with a baby you know? Well I was going to say to have a dinner with my family but then I remember that that is the plot of the movie Silent Night with Kieran Eiley. I will enjoy the last day's happiness with my family by playing and eating together until late at night, regardless of the approaching reality. Getting some whiskey and a cigar and sitting on my roof to watch it all go down. Nothing I can do to stop it might hurt as well enjoy the show. Take the couple hours trip to my girlfriend, play stuff on board game arena on the way there. When I am there I have sex, cuddle, go for a walk, confess to my crush, come out to my family and then at the end of the day I would take my own life so the world wouldn't have the chance. I'd have someone push me off a building today that I can beat the traffic at the pearly gates. That line is going to be awful tomorrow. Travel to see the northern lights, since I've always wanted to see them in person. At least my last memory would be a beautiful one, heart, sleep. I'm not going to get FOMO because our time is up. I'd hug my kids, maybe go to my parents' house. I'd treat it like a weekend. Assuming me and my fiancé aren't married yet, I'd invite all our closest friends and some of our family and we'd get married. Walk naked everywhere and convince everyone to do the same. Laugh one last time at why we even wore clothes in the first place.